Hello friends, so let us study about tape suite minimization problem. Earlier we studied about the test suite efficiency. Now let us study about the test suite minimization. So a test suite is normally the container. Since it is a container of your test cases which help the test to ex develop test on your modules to execute them, to report, to analyze, to measure and so on. So it can take at least three states which is active the test cases which are active one that are second is the in progress that means they are still working and third is completed that means the test case work is completed finally so this test case test cases can be added to the multiple test suites and accordingly managed in your test plans so after creating after the creation of your test plan the test suites are created automatically which in turn has the number of test cases because several test cases make the test suite so test suites are created and based on the sample or the scope it may contain functional or non-functional requirements also non-functional test also so test suite structure is an essential of element in your system test plan then you have your test suit structure that how the structure is evolved so first is that detailed test groups and subgroups are identified then you have a test objectives which are made of then you have some existing test cases which are automated or manual that need to be run on it so this test plan has number of different test suite according to this diagram and test suite can have multiple of test cases like above four five six so here in the diagram is shown that four test cases can make one test suite then test suite two have two test cases that depends upon how many test cases can be associated with the test suite and the real scenarios that constitute your test suite then each of test cases represents a piece of scenario that has a completion of transaction using a test suit so it has a test suit can contain in a test cases it can contain one login it can have add new products then checkouts and logouts and so on then it has this suit can identify gaps in the testing effort now in earlier we understood what was the testing effort that cost and your time required in your test effort the successful completion once the test case occur before the second one so for example you cannot add new products to the shopping cart before you log into the application now suppose there is the one e-commerce site and you want to purchase one product but you cannot do the transaction you cannot put the product into the cart you cannot pay the money to it because you have not logged in without logging you cannot move further so when you run a test test case suit on it in a sequential mode you can choose to stop the execution in a single case in a single test case which do not pass my test case i have tested the login form suppose login module and when my test case is failing so i cannot proceed it further then stopping this execution is useful if a running test case is so depends on the success of the previous now, if my logging is successful, login test case is successful, so the process, procedure for adding product to the card, I have to check this module. Is it working? The test case is working fine or it failed? When it will be successful when the login application test cases are passed. Test suits often need to adopt to the software which they are intending to test. The core software changes and grows such that the test suit also can grow and change yes i can remove some test cases i can add multiple test cases and the associated scenario for the test case that will test suit will go on or it will increase so maintaining this suit can be expensive because if it grows you need to have more budget time effort time and effort required that means test effort required more so once we have a suit in a place we have to maintain it so the size grows the maintenance of the existence test also grows 
then there's a proportion of the test in the suit and the rate of change of the underlying software being tested. So as the amount of maintenance grow, it also you have the expense. That means the cost you have to pay from the company. Then we can develop technique to assist the maintenance of this test suit. Yes, you can have the maintenance part specifically that allow the test suit reduction. If in case there is a reduction, then yes, you can have a Develop the technique of maintenance that yes, you can remove it, you can add it later and test the, according to the test suit prioritizations. Now, next we'll see about the next topic. Till then, enjoy your test suit.